Episode 76 You Are Simply a God When he said, Oh, give it all! Xander started crying. He had cheated and planned all kinds of schemes in his life. What was he planning? Wasn't he just aiming for the chairman's throne? Now that he had the shares, the chairman's throne was right in front of him. However, he can only give it to me with his hands clasped behind his back. He felt wronged, but he had no choice. Whether life was important or money was important, he could only make the decision at the moment of life and death. Xander did not want to die of old age in prison, and he did not want to see his son being shot to death. He could only make this choice. So after more than 10 minutes, Xander and Zach went to the relevant departments and transferred all the shares to Kate for free. That was not all. Zach also took him to the notary office. He recorded the video in front of the notary and wrote the contract voluntarily transferring the shares. He almost did what he did yesterday to trick Kathy. When everything was sorted out, Xander and Zach returned to the office. Looking at the familiar chair and table office supplies, Xander could not help but shed tears again. Previously, he had said goodbye to his old fellows, saying that he was going to the chairman's office. These old fellows were not worthy of him. Now, he did not even deserve to look them in the eyes. Zach put all the information, including the shares transfer contract, into a document bag and turned around to leave. But at this moment, Xander suddenly rushed forward and grabbed his arm. Where's my son? Hurry up and let him go. I gave you all my shares. Hurry up and let my son go. Only then did Zach recall this matter. You mean Gavin? I lied to you. I didn't arrest him. I just made him play along in my little game. Xander was stunned. The move was clearly used by him against Kate yesterday. No, you didn't arrest my son. How did you know that my son gave an extra $5,000 to Leslie after the incident? Zach replied in all seriousness. Leslie told me. Xander was even more stunned. What did Leslie tell you? Wasn't she dead? Zach asked back. Why are you so naive? Do you believe everything you hear? Xander was completely confused. He pointed at the computer and said, But the news has already reported it. Zach was beyond amused. Come now, Xander. You can't be this stupid. It was a fake website with a fabricated video. Check the link again. It'll show that the website was only temporary. Xander gave up on Zach and ran towards the computer table. He was running as fast as he could. It was hard to believe that he was an old man in his 60s. After he refreshed the website and found that it was impossible to open, he realized that what Zach said was true. Xander sat on the boss's chair and was stunned for a while. He didn't even notice Zach leaving. After five minutes, he suddenly roared hysterically. Zach! You! You lied to me! Xander finally figured out the whole situation. What Zach said was 90% true, but the video was fake. A fake video, advertisement harassment, a written contract of voluntary transfer of shares. These were all methods that he had used yesterday. The whole scheme was his, but in the end, Zach used it on him. He had cheated Kathy, a silly girl, yesterday and had gotten 13% of the shares. Today, Zack had duplicated the same method, leaving him with nothing. He had duped Xander, who was naive as that silly little girl, and had taken away 51% of the shares. Xander had the urge to kill Zack when he thought of this. Shameless! Zack, you are shameless! A roar filled with hatred and helplessness burst out of Xander's mouth, but he forgot that he was the one who said it yesterday. The more he thought about it, the angrier he became. Xander furiously slammed the table and stood up, but in the next moment, he collapsed back in the chair. His body was twitching, and his mouth and eyes were slanted. He was drooling at the corner of his mouth. By the time the secretary arrived, it was already five minutes later. He had a sudden cerebral hemorrhage. Fortunately, he was sent to the hospital in time. He did not die and even if his entire body was paralyzed, he would not be able to speak. In the future, he could only lie in bed. 
Ever since the old man, Jeremy, went missing, the second shareholder meeting had gone down. No one knew why Xander suddenly had a cerebral hemorrhage. Frank gloated and said that it was karma. The other four elders of the five-man team stared at him. Instead, he said confidently, pointing at the four people and saying, Brain hemorrhage number two, brain hemorrhage number three, brain hemorrhage number four, and brain hemorrhage group five, all of them are. At this time, Kate was in the office with Zach. Kate was very puzzled. Xander is usually very good. Why is he suddenly having a cerebral hemorrhage? Zach replied, He got too angry. He got too angry? Kate did not understand and wanted to ask what was going on. However, Zach did not answer. Instead, he handed the document directly to her. It seems to be your birthday tomorrow. It is a birthday present. This reply was baffling. Even though it was indeed her birthday tomorrow, but that was not what he was saying. After subconsciously taking the document envelope, Kate still wanted to ask, who was the one who angered Xander? Why did he suddenly have a cerebral hemorrhage? However, Zack did not give her a chance to speak. Take a look at the gift first. Kate then opened the envelope and took out the documents. In the next moment, when she saw the contract of voluntary transfer of shares and saw the 51% shares being transferred to Kate for free, she was stunned and completely in disbelief. She even forgot to breathe instinctively. She simply did not dare to believe it and quickly looked at the other documents. After confirming that Xander really transferred all 51% of the Conroy Group shares to her for free, Kate, whose face had turned purple from holding it, finally recovered her breath. Because she was nervous, her breathing was quite rapid and even her body was moving up and down. This... This is all true? Zack smiled and nodded. Of course it's true. There's even a notary from the notary's office. Even if Xander reneged, it would be useless. Kate looked at the transfer contracts and other documents again. After spending ten minutes reading them from beginning to end, she still could not believe it. No, Zack. How did you do it? Zack smiled without saying anything. It seemed that he did not think that this matter was difficult. But in Kate's eyes... This was simply a miracle. No, a miracle. A miracle! My God, Zack! You are too amazing! Thank you! You are simply a god! At this moment, Kate was so excited that she felt that she was going to explode. She really wanted to carry Zack over and give him a kiss. It had nothing to do with love. She just felt that Zack had already reached the level of a super god. When Kate was so excited that she did not know what to do, Zack smiled and said, All right, don't get excited. Be careful. Don't want you suffering the same fate as Xander. There will be a third shareholder meeting this afternoon. The content of the third shareholder meeting was, of course, to announce the new chairman of the Conroy Group. <laughs>